He was laying the groundwork for future generations in healthcare and social justice for the poor and destitute, being affectionate to his fellow citizens who were suffering in illnesses of the day. He gave aid to the naked, malnourished beggars on the street. His simple motto upon being reproved, compassion is preferable to cleanliness. Martin de Porres lived an austere lifestyle, perhaps from growing up in poverty himself. His mother placed him with a barber surgeon to learn the medical arts. Being born in the city of Lima, Peru, to a freed slave woman and a Spanish nobleman, it was unlawful for him to become a full member of any religious order. Because of his mixed blood, it was common for him to be ridiculed and debased throughout his life. Martin used all these insults aimed toward him as sacrifices he would endure, as an offering to God. At age 15, he was accepted by the Dominicans as a lay brother. He would perform menial tasks in the monastery as a servant boy. His responsibilities included answering the door, working in the kitchen, the laundry, and cleaning, which he loved, because through this service, he was able to provide glory to God. Through the years, he was promoted to become a distributor of money to the poor. When he was 23, his superior turned a blind eye to the rules and allowed Martin to take his vows as a member of the Third Order of Dominicans, although not everyone in the order approved. He never became a priest. Martin was eventually assigned to the infirmary. He cared not only for the religious, but the sick outside of his convent, often healing them with only a simple glass of water. He ministered without distinction to slaves recently brought in from Africa and to Spanish nobles. As the years went by, Martin was becoming more and more renowned to commoners and the rich, even outside of Lima. They came to him for prayers, cures, spiritual counseling, and material aid. Although Martin wished to remain obscure, he continued helping all those who came to him because he saw it as the will of God. In normal times, Martin succeeded with his alms to feed 160 poor persons every day and distributed a remarkable sum of money every week to the indigent. He passed into eternal life on November 3, 1639, and had won the affection and respect of many of his fellow Dominicans, as well as a host of people outside of the Priory. St. Martin de Porres, who is in the middle of our Hall of Saints, is a saint of the Americas. Curiously, Martin shares the same ministry that Venerable Solanus had here in Detroit. Venerable Solanus, who was also given that task because of certain humiliations that were given in his own Capuchin vocation. Martin de Porres, like Solanus, was also known as a healer, an intermediary of God for grace and help in need. Martin de Porres in this Hall of Saints reminds us that in America all of us of any social class or race are called to holiness and all of us can respond and no discrimination can stop us from responding favorably to the graces of holiness that God gives to each of us to call us to be his sons and daughters.